Hi guys, welcome to Empower and my name is Caroline Porter Thomas. Thank you so much as usual for watching my YouTube channel. So in this video, I wanted to talk about being generous without being a doormat. So as a nurse, we are very generous, loving, warm people, especially if you're part of this empowering community, of course. <laughs> and a lot of times that can be seen as a weakness. And this weakness can attract a lot of people who want us to do a lot for them. So first, let me relate this towards nursing, and then I'll relate it if you guys have any other ventures going on related towards the business aspects of what I do, just in case any of you guys are entrepreneurs out there. Hopefully you are. If you are, then post a comment and let me know what you do. I'd love to read it. So the first thing is when you're a nurse and you have a little bit of experience, a lot of times what you will find is a lot of new nurses will ask you to do things. And I love more than anything helping new nurses out. But then after some time, you can get a little bit burnt out because just for an example, the other day, um, a new nurse, she's been a nurse for about a year. She asked me to put an IV in her. For her. The only thing is though is that this nurse is actually scared of the who was charged that day so she didn't want to ask the charge nurse. But that day I had seven patients and so I was kind of drowning as well. So what I do when I'm faced with situations where I might get upset or feel like I'm being taken advantage of is I will do this. I will kind of pause and I will say let me reflect on everything that I still have to do and I will say you know whether or not I can do it right at that moment. So in this particular situation, I said, you know what, I really can't do it now. I said, you know, I'm really actually behind. I had a situation going on this morning and I'm a little bit behind. So I said, you know, do your best to ask somebody else. And then in about an hour, I should have time. So if you don't have it by then, then I will be more than happy to do it for you. And then I will also offer, you know, I can actually help you put the IV in when I'm there. So if you want, why don't you get everything together and then when I come in about an hour, then I can help you do it. So you can learn how to do it as well. So doing this in a very kind, generous way, it doesn't get me out of state. Like I'm not going to be in an angry state. And it also helps me be generous because I will do the IV. But I have to put, you know, my priorities first. I have my patients and my patients are entrusted to me and I must take the best care of them as I possibly can. Just like every other nurse should. <laughs> So that's how I kind of like relate it to nursing is whenever I'm given more task or responsibility, especially when it's not necessary, I just make sure that everything is well with me and my, my group of patients. When it comes to the business aspects of um, having like a YouTube channel, having a business, you know, when you have a YouTube channel, people come to you for all different things. And a lot of times people think, or, you know, maybe they're just throwing it out there. But a lot of times people will send you emails like, hey, I'll send you like free product if you do like a review. And I, from day one, have never ever done anything for free. Even when I only had like 2,000 subscribers, I always charged. And it wasn't to get more money. It was just so that they didn't continually come to me. Because actually, I, I do take that back. So the first time I did it, I did it for free. And that was for, I won't name the company because, you know, that's not fair to them. But I did a few things for free and I found that that person kept coming back to me. I was like, we just finished the last video. Like, don't you have any other like YouTubers to pick on? <laughs> and so, you know, I realized that making it too easy for them wasn't a good thing. And I was working, you know, it is work to make these videos, even if it's just a simple, video. And so the next, like the third or fourth time they came to me, I said, I would be more than happy to do it. But here's the price. And I never heard from them again. <laughs> so I realized that, you know, you have to sort of set boundaries. And a lot of times people will say, you know, you'll do this and you'll get a lot of exposure. And my response to that is, well, you found me. So why wouldn't other people find me? You know, it's not about getting exposure like right away or immediately or whatever. It's really just about determining what you think, evaluating the time and effort that it's going to put into something and being comfortable with no and never hearing back from people, which I'm totally comfortable with. <laughs> 
So one final note that I want to leave with is that whenever anybody asks you for something, you always have to make sure that it's not going to put you in a bad situation. You know, for example, if I were to have started that IV when the nurse asked me, I would have been in a bad situation because all of my medications would have been late. I would have not been able to do certain things. So that's how I kind of evaluate it. Is this going to put me back to a situation that's going to be hard for me to get, you know, back up to? like speed with. So whenever you take on any sort of commitments like that, you know, saying even with small things like, yes, I'll do this little thing, make sure you evaluate where you are, what's going on, and if you can handle this. I guess the second step is just to have faith that it's not the end of the world, you know, like if this nurse gets upset with you, then, you know, that's, that's her fault, you know, for not trying to start the IV herself or for relying on you too much when you have your own group of people, you have your own group of patients and she's scared to ask the charge nurse, like that's not your problem. So don't put so much stress on yourself for no reason at all. All right, guys, I really hope that you like this Motivation Monday tip and I cannot wait to see you again next week. I hope you have a wonderful week. I love you so much. Bye. Let's stay connected, guys. No matter where you are in the world, join me here every Monday at 6.30 a.m. Eastern Time for the weekly nursing pre-huddle before your regular huddle. This will help you start your week off on the right note. Also, get email notifications as soon as the videos are published. By joining my email list, you will receive 25% discount on my best-selling books. The first book, How to Succeed in Nursing School, has been called the best nursing school preparation guide for thousands of students just like you. Many say it's a must-read before entering nursing school. In this book, I share how I went from a very average student to graduating nursing school with honors. It also includes tips on how to choose your nursing school, how to be successful in nursing school, and how to stay motivated and driven while in nursing school. The second book, New Nurse, How to Get, Keep, and Love Your Nursing Job, is an outstanding book to help nurses start their careers on the right foot or rekindle their love for nursing. We all join this profession for altruistic reasons, but sometimes the stress of the job has us beaten down. This book, I promise, will help you reignite your love for the amazing work you do. And finally, by joining, you will also have access to a 40% discount for my How to Study for Anatomy and Physiology program. In this program, I share how I went from a C average student to two semesters later was on the dean's list. I've shared these tips with thousands of other students and they have phenomenal results. Click here for information on how to join my email list. And oh yeah, make sure you subscribe to the channel also. I'll see you guys next week. Love you. Bye.